to add or not to add a vignette? That is the question. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a vignette in Darttable, GIMP, and then how to create a custom vignette, in this case, a heart-shaped vignette. How cool is that? I love it. So let's dive into Darttable and apply a vignette to this image first. So this raw file is in your Section 3 folder, and it should be imported already if you've been following along since the beginning. Now, before we add our vignette, I'd like to do some minor adjustments to the tonal range. It's a little dark, so I'm going to grab my highlights and my shadows here, and I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And yep, I think I like that. We have more detail in the shadows now, and that's what I want. I want to bring the highlights down just a little bit just to bring back some details in the highlights and darken them up a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and grab our tone curve next. And I want to apply a small S curve. So I'm going to brighten up these highlights a little bit more than the blacks. And I think I want to go ahead and increase the midtones as well to make those a little brighter. All right, so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and grab my vignette tool now. And we're going to add an old school, traditional style type of vignette. Once you click on this, the tool will be activated and you will get these two circles on your image. So you can either make adjustments from these two circles here or from the sliders over here or both. So if I click on this little teeny tiny circle right here and drag in, I can reshape that vignette. I can also resize it from up here as well. So go ahead and adjust that to your own personal preference. And then this outer circle is where the feathering begins for that vignette. So if we click and drag in, you can now see that vignette inside of the corners here. So that might be a little bit too far. I'm going to bring that out. And then, of course, the brightness will make that vignette darker or brighter. Saturation will reduce the color of saturation or increase it, depending on what you want to do. And then horizontal and vertical center will allow you to move that vignette into a different position because your subject may not be directly in the center and then shape will change the shape from an oval or a circle to more of a diamond shape. All right, so what I want you to do now is go ahead and turn this vignetting tool off and go ahead and close it because we're going to learn how to add some vignettes in GIMP now. And sometimes GIMP is a better tool for adding vignettes compared to Darttable because we can do more in GIMP versus Darttable. So go ahead and export that file, open it up in GIMP, and then we're going to grab our image layer here and let's go ahead and duplicate it so we can apply the vignette non-destructively. And to add a vignette in GIMP, you're going to go up to Filters, Light and Shadow, and select Vignette from here. Now, just like with Darttable, we have pretty much the same tools and adjustments here on the image as well as we did in Darttable. We have a third oval here that will resize and then this outer one will increase or decrease the width or the height, depending on which one you adjust. And then we have this dashed line, which represents the feathering of that vignette. So it's much softer now than it was before. If I bring this in, it will be more of a harder edge. And of course, you can do all these adjustments in the sliders here. And then the other thing you can do is you can change the shape of the vignette from a circle to a square. There's a diamond. There's also horizontal and vertical. So all depending on your creative vision. But if you want to add a custom shape like this heart shape here, what you're going to do is let me go ahead and delete these so we can start over is you're going to navigate to your section five folder. You're going to find this heart PNG file. You're going to click and drag it in. Or if that doesn't work based on your operating system, you're going to go up to file and select open as layers to open it up as a new layer. Now, before we can create a vignette out of this, we need to increase the layer boundary because it's smaller than the current canvas. And if we try and create that vignette right now, it's going to be confined to the inside of this layer boundary. So let's go up to layer and select 
layer to image size and that will increase the layer boundary to match the canvas size. Now let's make a selection of our heart and we can do that real quick by right clicking on the heart layer here and selecting alpha to selection and that creates the selection. Now we need to invert the selection so that we can then fill it in with a color of our choice. So let's go up to select and click on invert. Let's go ahead and turn this layer off and let's create a new layer called vignette and let's fill it with transparency. And now we're going to go ahead and grab our foreground color swatch here and choose a color. So choose anything you want. Click OK. Grab your bucket fill tool with shift plus B and fill in that selection. Let's go ahead and deselect. And then the final step is to blur the edges and the layer itself by going up to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then adjust the X and Y size to whatever you want. So I'm going to go pretty high here. So right around 60 to 70. Click OK and then drop your opacity down to blend it in a little bit more. How cool is that? I love it. All right. Congratulations on completing the 10 projects in this section. In the next section, you're going to learn how to do three more projects that are a little bit more advanced. So we're going to do some compositing, which simply means you're going to take multiple images, bring them together in one document and then merge them, blend them and do some other stuff to create a new image or a new piece of artwork. So if you're ready for that, let's do it.